Hello, the game has started. My opponent has gone first. I have a balanced rack. Do I have a bingo? Through an A, I would have file card. But that's not available, so let me consider what is available. C and H go well together. Not seeing anything there. How about the O? No, not seeing anything. N. Well, N looks like it goes well with this, but I'm not seeing anything. How about the E? And finally, the Y. So I've got the FY ending. Not seeing anything. So what to do here? I can get the F doubled underneath the O. So I have clef. And rid isn't a terrible rack leave. But do I have a double double through this E? Well, it looks like I could do. I've got the RE beginning. Fielder, defiler. None of them get doubled twice. I'm just worried about leaving this double double lane available. So I could do life. 28 points, obstructing that lane. I'm going with this. And that was the danger with keeping three consonants. Rack is now unbalanced. But not too many opportunities for opponents. Of takes a D in front, high takes an A. So I could play trad in row G. My D can go underneath N E, so I've got Drant in row J. But that may take an S. So do I have anything through this E? A double double still available. Life takes an R. Okay, opponents. Well, he's actually provided some assistance given I'm short on vowels in terms of a double double. But I'm not seeing one. And opponent's gone in one of the spots I had in mind. Will takes a Y, so that's quite a hot spot. New takes a T, which I've got. So I could play tracked with a view to... Not like that, I can't. I am looking to get the play the play doubled. Twill is good. Unyu is good. So what about playing Darn? Doesn't give much away and it's thirty points. I'm going with this. All consonants. Sometimes Racks sort themselves out and sometimes they deteriorate and there are no vowelless words with the tiles on this rack and I'm thinking of words like pwn, pwn. Just one point between us. Oh wow, fantastic extension by opponent. 48 points for honeybee. Is this the right time to change? I think it is. I'm not seeing anything great here. And I'll keep just R and T. Wow, that was a good change. Surely I am bingoing now. Great, a pennant doesn't obstruct this E. A new doesn't take anything, so there's only a double letter play in row K, but I will get value from the J. So if the blank were an A or an O, do I have a bingo? Blank as an A. This looks such a bingoy set of letters. Point 
possibly narcissist. Not sure about that. No, and the other one I was thinking about was an O. Cortins. Citrons. Cornist. No, none of those fit. So let me find a bingo which begins or ends with an E. And I have enteric, but I think putting an S in last place is helpful to opponents. So can I hide the S away? What's the best way about identifying candidate plays? So enteric, scienter, secretin. No, I'm just going to run through the alphabet with an E in mind. 14 minutes on my clock. So canister. Cisterny. I'm going with that. Yep. I don't want to waste too much time on this. Cisterny for... Whoa. That hasn't worked. Ah, oh, that's a nine-letter play. So I do need to look for a, a little bit longer. That's Enteryx, which I might, might end up playing. I don't wish to waste a lot of time on this. Cresting. With so few vowels, the E is likely to be in the middle, so I'm not optimistic that there is a play, unless the blank is a vowel. Inciters. Stricken. So, corniest, rections. Nope, not seeing anything. Okay, so... I haven't found anything better than this. Enteryx for 80. And, well, slightly unbalanced in favour of vowels. I do have a scoring tile in the F, but I don't have a back-to-back -back bingo. Just four points between us. And I'm looking now at the J spot. Opponent may take that out, but he's going to struggle to do that without providing further J spots. Doff takes nothing in front, so a little bit of a ladder down here, which is restricting access to the top left. The E is a useful floater, but not with this rack when I'm vowel heavy, and this S super useful, and difficult to block given that there are no two-letter C words, so I can't just play a column 14 bingo. Be interesting to see what alternatives to enteric were available. Ah, and what I sh should have done, I think, is entice us to get the C doubled. So I have a four in row K if opponent doesn't block that. My F can go underneath the I. Now opponent has played, I don't have an I. So I have F double A, that's not bad. Core is a decent rack leave. Oh, not a great vowel, but C helps it. And it's 26 points. Quad does take an A in front. That's not going to have much effect on opponent putting an I under the Q. So I'm minded to go with this. Oh wow, more E's. Can't be many left. Five left. And six I's, all of which eluded me. So... This is a tricky spot because if I play off just a couple of E's or O and E, I'm not going to score very much, and that's rarely the best play. Now, Quay, Key, Key rather, takes an R, and I've got one. Wow, that's f handy. Surely I can find a play which gets tripled. But can I? 
Well, I have tier, T W E R, 30 points, which isn't bad, but I'd get a lot more if I could involve the C. So, what about a play beginning with R? No, not seeing one which is five letters long. Okay, and I think this is the, the best spot. I'm not going to score more than this anywhere else on the board. And more E's. Wow, they just keep coming. Only three now left in the bag. And how wretched having all these E's when there's a floating E on the board. So often you haven't got an E, there's no floating E, and you think if only there was an E, I could, uh, I could bingo. Well, now there are too many of them. And also vowel heavy rack and floating vowels in quare and honeybee. So, what do I have here? I'm not seeing a seven. Where are the floating consonants? There's T. There's C. Doesn't look useful. Great, opponent is not, is not zooming ahead. He does have a slight lead. Can I get value from the C? S not massively useful on this board at the moment. I'm looking at this D to see if I have a play which involves the C. And I don't think I do. And it would be good to play here because it would stop opponent bingoing in row O. And if he does that, the board is super tight in terms of me coming back with a bingo. Twenty-eight points, that's not bad. It's not taking out the S, but it's a lot more than I could get by playing in column eight. Do I have any alternatives to snee? And what about a play through the through the A? So I have oceans. Twenty nine points, keeping double E. I think this is a better rack leave. I'm going with this. So I have I have coolies. Now the qua still takes an A in front, so that is, that is a lane in column three. Opponent's gone there. Doesn't set up anywhere for coolies. Are there any seven letter lanes I've overlooked? Not seeing anything, but I can achieve this aim of obstructing row O, even though I trail. I don't want to make it easy for opponent to get a big bingo. And this is also scoring OK and sorting the rack out. Still checking. Is there an anagram of coolies? If it ended in an E, it would play in column two. No, not that I can see. Okay, I'm going with this. Well, more vowels, so it could be a shortage at the end. And it still means that the E of honeybee isn't particularly helpful. If opponent bingos in column two, there may be a couple of floaters which could help. Ah, I have looniest in column one. Wow. Well, that would be blocked by a column two bingo, but I think opponent's only going to play in column two if he has a bingo. But I do have loonies, looniest, which means I have loonies as a seven. Uh, that doesn't go anywhere, but it could if opponent played in column two because he'll be opening parallel lanes in columns one and three. Unless his bingo involves a V. Just one point between us. I don't think Looney says an anagram. Fantastic. Opponent does have a V, but doesn't use it to obstruct my bingo. 
double double lane in row E, but I don't have one. He hasn't provided a spot for loonies, so I have looniest for 77. Not a great pickup, but look at this, only one E left. I was ruining all the E's on my rack. Well, now's exactly the time. It would be nice to have one. Two floating E's, but IOU on my rack don't go well with that. Now, the A of Aqua's gone. Row N is quite hot. If I could get a big tile tripled and ending in C. But I'm not seeing such a play. Still one blank to come. Column 2, a decent lane because of hooks for L. Great, just 18 for opponent. So, I can play Go Mutai, turning over tiles with a view to getting the blank and expediting the end of the game. Any hot spots for my M? Don't think so. And Gamutai is going to obstruct column two, bingo lane. Take out row D and row F as bingo lanes and stop scores in column eight using this triple word square. So there's a lot that's good about it. Let me check the remaining vowels. 5 out of 21, so I'm burning 3 vowels and I could pick up 6 consonants. Wow. That changes the complexion. Thinking about Gwimp, but does that have a sticky E? No, it's good, and the, I think this is worth doing because, look at the score, 39 points, that's good. I'm preserving a vowel. I am turning over, well, four tiles. The rack leave is okay. I've currently got a 36-point lead, so this is going to be, give me a 70-point lead, which is about a bingo. I'm going with this. Well, I don't pick the blank. I do draw the X. I have Ox in column 7 for 30 odd points. But his opponent about to, to bingo. No, he's not. Fantastic. He does go in my X spot. Zit takes an I and an E. I have neither. I have Vox. Well, I'm just looking at this duplicate T. There's one T to come. Thinking about obstructing column two, but I can't do that without creating a column three lane. Six minutes on my clock. Lax is good. I have ox. I'm slightly reluctant about playing ox because I'm preserving only one vowel. I'd quite like to turn over more tiles. How can I do that? I don't have to play the X off straight away, but it's not a particularly great tile on this board. Double M is good. Just looking for anywhere I can play off more tiles. Nothing onto the C. No, I have dot com and Tom Cod. But the C's in the wrong spot. ZO is good. But I don't have a five letter play ending OM. Even ignoring the X. And one reason I don't want to hang on to the X. Is that. I'm unlikely to have many vowels. Which is going to restrict my op options. Five minutes on my clock. What am I going to do? Are there any lanes I haven't considered through an E? I would have detox. No floating E's when you need them. So I could play mottos onto this S, but that's burning all, all vowel, both vowels, keeping nothing. So I don't like that. What a tricky rack. Was not expecting this after I played Gwimp. Hmm. 
Mom for 18? What does that achieve? Stops opponent scoring off the Z. Preserves the X for score. Preserves a vowel. I spent enough time on this. There's only four minutes on my clock. Surely that is rubbish. Let's at least get over the 20 point mark and I'm preserving the O. And docs interrupts a row F, bingo, ending in S, so docs does have that value, although it is creating this column three lane. Great, opponent is being blocky and I have a 60 point lead. This G could be useful, there's still an I and a blank to come, but very few vowels. Wow, I could do with some time now to consider my play and there just isn't time. I burnt my D, which could make DZO. Opponents provided a Vox spot. So, five tiles left. I was thinking about playing Motto, but that is going to empty the bag, which I definitely do, don't want to do. So, what about playing Moot? Wow, you're burning both vowels? Don't think so. I want to hang on to one vowel. Three minutes on my clock, and I do want to keep scoring. That may be impossible. Can't play anything in row L. What about down from LA? Opponent unlikely to bingo, but if the five worst tiles were in the bag, then he certainly could. Okay, so I'm going with... Wow, this feels terrible. Only 13 points. But it's not emptying the bag. I was thinking about Mott in column 14, but I don't want to provide access to this triple word square with all these big tiles to come. I don't want opponent to outrun me without a bingo. This feels really pretty horrible, but I'm going with it. Great, I draw another vowel, which is good in terms of restricting opponent's bingo potential. I have Naughty on my rack, which does play in column four, Naughty and my. Is opponent going to leave anything in the bag? No, he's emptied the bag, fantastic. With just two minutes on my clock, I can finally take a sigh of relief. So I have Naughty for 43. And that's, ah, but I have an I. Okay, so opponent does have another go. But I lead by over 100, so I think I survive a bingo. Opponent's only going to get two on count back. For some reason, I thought Naughty was going to end the game, but of course it, 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 it hasn't. Gosh, no wonder I'm short on time. Opponent has got 13 minutes left on his, so he's been able to do all his thinking on my time and played really quickly. I don't think there was a better alternative to Naughty. Because... Column four is perhaps the best bingo lane. Maybe opponent would have had Shroud. What's happened? Showered for 64. Oh, through the air at the bottom. And the final score, 400 for opponent, 437 for me, a winning margin of 37 points. So a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. That felt slightly bizarre. I didn't feel in totally in my head in the game, but that's just the way the, the games can feel sometimes. So it was opponent to go first, plays Honey. Phew, no Miss Bingo. I thought about Clef. Then I didn't like leaving this E alone and played Life for the same score. Yeah, I could have played Lifer myself at this point. 
perhaps should have done. Okay, but this move isn't terrible. Opponent's rack. Plays well. And now, very unbalanced. But I have done for 30. Opponent with a lot of vowels. Fantastic spot of honeybee. And I trail with an all consonant rack. So I change. And I think that's fine. Crew for 15. Through the E. Keeping DR double T. That's probably pretty much similar to changing. Not much in that. Opponent's rack plays jar. And now I have this dream rack. And yeah, I play enteric and later saw enticers, but nothing better. Opponent plays qua. And wow, carafe, that's nice. H3, carafe and aqua. What do I do? I play far for 26. Yeah, which is off the pace. I am keeping a better rack lead than O, but Karaf just scores so many points and takes out a useful a useful hook that I think it's clearly a better play. Opponent plays quite key rather. And now here we go. O4. There was a C play. Recto. Well that's the one I was looking for and couldn't find. And the Well, and it's the only one using the C. The play of Sia here doesn't get tripled. So Tia, yeah, it's not nine points as bad as, rec nine points worse than Recto because CEO is a better rack lead than double E. Now, opponent's rack plays Bide. B lace, H13. Oh, wow, through B and LA, that's nice. I didn't consider that and a decent rack leave. So I play Snee for 28, burning the S. Yeah, I'm getting six more points but burning the S, so not that much between those plays. Gosh, opponent's rack looks pretty good. Doesn't have a bingo, plays Raga. And no bingo for me. So I play Deco for 21. Yeah, and that's fine. This rack leave is, is pretty good. Opponent plays Vaney. And this is fantastic because I do have a bingo. And, my, and I trail. Gosh, how did the opponent catch me? Don't know. I guess Honeybee helped. So I now lead by about 60. Opponent plays Pupi. And I have Gwimp for 39. And we're approaching the end game. Wow, nice rack. No bingo. Opponent plays Zit for 23. Could have played Zoes and Gwimps for 43. Maybe he wanted to keep that lane available as he had a blank so i have a well it feels like a slender lead because it could easily be overtaken by a bingo and there's a blank unseen and i really struggled here because i didn't want to leave myself with all consonants so oxo h2 i didn't actually consider that but i wouldn't have liked burning both o's so I played docs for, for 22, retaining a vowel, and I like that. No bingo for opponent. Although he's got the blank, he's also suffering from the vowel shortage. Plays Vom. Now, I briefly thought about motto. Didn't want to empty the bag. Played Mott for 13, which isn't miles off the pace. Opponent with no vowels. <laughs> but a bingo. Wow. Droggers, where's that? Through the O of Deco. Gosh, tricky one to see. But there was a bingo there. Instead, opponent plays Gur. And now I thought it was all over, but it wasn't. I have 43 for Notty, which I think does guarantee me the win with 100 points. This is opponent's last rack. Wow, so, yeah, even with 86 points for opponent onto the E... That would have taken opponent to 410 and two on count back 412 would still have lost by 25. So I was far enough ahead to survive any bingo. And that was the end of the game. So what a game. As I say, quite a strange 
uh, feeling game, but uh, it's very difficult to put my finger on exactly what I mean by that. Every game is different. The sheer variety of random racks that you have I mean it's very difficult to have a, a feel in a situation for exactly what to do in the way that in chess you might recognize certain patterns on the board. There's a little bit of that in Scrabble, but I think far less because there's just so much uniqueness in every situation. And this was a strange game, and there was definitely a, a lack of vowels at the end, which cast quite a pall over one's choice of moves. But fascinating nonetheless, and great fun. So many thanks to opponent for a good battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.